Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. May 30, 2020, the According to Phil edition. First up, from the Financial Times. Indeed, all of today's stories come from the Saturday edition of the FT, but these first two stories deal with Hong Kong. First up, China has threatened countermeasures against the U.S. Of course, uh, well-known uh, Trump's inane statements uh, around uh, Hong Kong affairs and the U.S. meddling in that, but now Hong Kong is going to Retaliate. Really no surprise there. The problem is for Western businesses in China. They have been told to toe the line and support the government uh, or they will be subject to uh, repercussions. So uh, not very surprising there. And obviously, this is going to lead to the long-term loss of Hong Kong's special status as one of the world's two or three great financial centers. Following on that, is uh, HSBC and their role in Hong Kong. Obviously, um, a very important uh, place for the bank as it's its ancestral home. And HSBC has been enjoying unique privileges in Hong Kong, uh, which the Chinese government uh, now says should not be taken for granted. So, uh, HSBC, in addition to the trouble they're in in the western part of the world, now faces this issue in Hong Kong, and it's going to be, uh, I think, very difficult for HSBC. They've tried to run to Hong Kong to save their business model, but the bottom line is they may not be able to do so because of the turmoil in China. Uh, Next up, a uh, somewhat disheartening case uh, from Switzerland, as Swiss prosecutors have been forced into a climb down over money laundering allegations centered on a Russian bank that stretched from the Baltic to the Caribbean. And three defendants uh, have been offered four and five months suspended sentences with a fine of 3,000 Swiss francs. And they have rejected this. This is uh, obviously uh, very disheartening when the prosecutors give uh, not even a slap on the wrist, um, but a um, probably a finger on the wrist, and the defendants re- re- reject that. So uh, the statute of limitations uh, has threatened the viability of the case, and it really... Um, demonstrates the latest blow to the reputation of Switzerland's rule of law in complex financial cases. Uh, One London lawyer called the Swiss prosecutor's office astounding, and it sends the signal to fraudsters and money launderers that they should bring their business to Switzerland, where they uh, risk little more than a tap on the wrist and not even profit disgorgement or paying back your ill-gotten gains. Our final story comes also from the FT, and that involves... The uh, leadership lessons uh, that were demonstrated by uh, the documentary The Last Dance. And here we focus on Phil Jackson, uh, not Michael Jordan. And <clears throat> Joe Ellison, in her column Trending, says that. Um, The Last Dance is a eulogy to the spirit of teamwork and the celebration of talents that lie within. It's a reminder that leadership doesn't require slavish loyalty or insisting on gibbering rote. It allows for mavericks, mess, and massive egos. It celebrates diversity and a different point of view, and it's totally transparent. So a great uh, column about the leadership of Phil Jackson and how he brought together an incredibly disparate group of that can nothing less than characters, starting from Michael Jordan to uh, Scottie Pipkin to Dennis Rodman to Europeans such as Tony Kukoc, obviously Steve Kerr, and many, many others. So check it all out. I will hope you will check out the June edition to 31 Days to a More Effective Compliance Program where I take up the topics of hotlines, investigations, and reporting. Also, we have a new featured guest in The Compliance Life. Ryan Robelay will talk about his journey to the CCO chair, what he learned along the way, and some of the lessons that uh, he has taken away. All of these available on the Compliance Podcast Network.